to circle back. So you have these niche driven sulfate decisions, but then you also have non niche driven sulfate decisions, right? So for example, that compaction step where you make the cells that will make the placenta, that's positionally driven. So it's only the cells on the outside that are going to start to say, I'm on this, I'm on the outside. Uh, I know I'm on the outside. Uh, I should probably change my cell fate. Cells on the inside, they change their cell fate. You know, this is something that I'm trying to figure out and the community is trying to figure out. It's a group of cells that mm. exist. They're homogeneous, right? They all look the same. And then all of a sudden they start to change their cell identity randomly in a, what they call a salt and pepper pattern. Why are those cells changing randomly? It's, we know that there is a, a chemical signal that's doing this, that's diffusing through, but there's no spatial pattern, right? There's no niche. There's no, there's no spatial information. They're not doing it in kind of like this side goes one way, this side goes the other way. What's happening there? Why so are they doing So there's an activation chemical that goes through the cells and then they start changing randomly into the one. Would it be yeah. something to do with how this is just like complete, just off top one? just some guesses here um but could it be do something to do with how sensitive each of the cells are to that chemical or you know how like in electronics you get different resistances of, yeah. of things could they be resistant to some of them be more resistant to the chemical like could you measure yeah. that sort of sensitivity or resistance so couple couple hypotheses some of my favorite ones so there are all the cells are producing the signal all the cells have receptors to respond to the signal right? Are you expressing different amounts of the receptor? This is your ability to respond to it. Why are you, why are you producing different amounts in a heterogeneous fashion? So then that gets back to the chicken and the egg situation. Why are you, why are you producing different amounts of the receptor in the first instance? Um, why 